Hey guys, Shaber 1000 here. This is the tire I had to change in the last video. Let's see if we can find the hole and see if we're going to be able to plug it. Okay, of course, first thing we're going to want to do is put some air in this thing. See if we can get it to take any air and find a hole. Alright. So over here, that didn't take long. Right there. I felt it on my leg as soon as I was putting air in. It's coming out as fast as it's going in. So, I don't know if we're going to be able to plug that or not. That's a pretty big hole. But this is just going to be a spare because right now she don't have one. So, let's see if we can put a plug in that. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. I don't know what's in there. Apparently, she ran over something. Let's see if we can dig this out or push it back down through. I don't think a plug is going to hold this, but I mean, we'll give it a shot, right? Yeah, I don't know if a plug's going to hold that, but let's try it and see. Okay, because usually I like to plug the tires with a little air in it. That way it holds the tire more steady for you. But we got this little kid here. She's had for a long time. It was in the back of the back seat of the truck. Uh, it has been used. There's one stick missing out of it. It's not real sticky. The first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to use this. We're going to want to ream this out, which that didn't take much. I don't think this is going to work, guys. The hole is just too damn big. But we're going to give it a shot anyway. This. Now, what you want to do you want to take this end this little tool that comes with it and you're going to want to try to push your plug through that hole kind of like threading a needle we we'll want to make it look something like that now we're going to take our glue if it's any good, should be. We're gonna put some okay. This could be bad because all right, there's no glue in it. Somebody used all the glue on one fucking plug. Anyway, let's try to plug this. push it through and then pull it back up through but I pushed it through too much let's do this again the right way to do this one would be a patch maybe put a big patch on the inside but I have no way to take this tire apart other than uh, the old manual way and I don't have the tools I need to pull the tire off this rim so But I'm hoping I can get it to hold just to be for a spare. But even if it does, once you get weight on it, is it going to hold after that? We don't know. So, let's 
going in pretty easy. Oh. I don't know, guys. Let's shoot some air in it. See what happens. It may blow that plug out of there. I don't know. Watch your eyes. No, it's not going to hold. I can hear it leaking already. No, it's just too bad. Yeah, see, there's no way that's ever going to hold. Even if I had the glue, it wouldn't hold it. Anyway, that's still how you plug a tire, so all is not lost. It's not really a fail. We'll just make it a how-to video. Because the basics are still the same. Now I'll show you how to tell where your leak is. Alright, what I've done here is I got a little bit of soap and water just in one of these drinking bottles. You're going to want to Dump this around your tire, smear it around, but see whenever you get to the to the spot that's leaking, it'll bubble up for you. But like I said, there's no way I can get that to get that to seal. See it's just too bad. The hole's just too big. Every time she runs over something, it's just too big to, to plug or patch. Uh, every time. It never fails. Well, we put another plug in, but see that right there? I mean, it's still leaking. See how it's blowing bubbles there? It means it's still got a leak there. Now that could probably be, uh, I could probably put some, fix a flat in here, green slime, and it would take care of that a little bit, and it may work for a spare, but the problem is if you get stranded a long ways away once you put this on is it going to get you 20 or 30 miles back into town or wherever so okay guys so anyway at least at least now you know how how to plug a tire it's not real hard just do what the instructions tell you to do and you'll be fine uh, the hardest part usually is getting this to go in there okay this piece there and pushing this down through because usually it's not a hole that size <laughs> but anyway so like I was saying my battery lights blinking uh, you know something like that I could probably get that to seal with some green slime or fix a flat but uh, like I said once you get on the vehicle is it going to run 20 or 30 miles in to get a new tire I don't know but anyway there you go in a nutshell that's how you do it Jay Bear I'm gone